Hey what's up everyone, it's Nate Doggy Dog 52 back again. Uh, I've got another video right now, this is probably a little late, I have been really really busy, I've been working 7 days, uh, trying to get all my uh, work done for various things. I have still been copping kicks, so if anyone follows me on Twitter and Instagram you would have seen this. Uh, first off, I'm going to jump into my um, latest pickups, not the sneakers but just kind of apparel and hats and things like that. So first up, it's a Mitchell and Ness snapback, it's a Miami Heat snapback. Uh, Mitchell and Ness on the back there. It's got the NBA logo there. Green under brim, still got the price and stuff in there. Uh, I just picked this up, we did have it in uh, where I work at, at my job, uh, so I picked it up from there. Uh, it's a real nice hat, it's one of the kind of few ones that I like what we get in, so I picked up this. Uh, I also hit up Nike store yesterday, uh, I picked up this nice tee right here. Uh, real simple, real clean, just says Dream Killer uh, with the black tee with the gold foil lettering. Uh, just plain on the back, it's a real nice tee, uh, it's pretty plain. Uh, I'll go real nice with my, uh, I forget the gold medal pack and with a, a pair of Kobe shorts I've bought before, black and gold. Uh, this tee now is a dry fit LeBron tee. Uh, it's real nice obviously, you know he's wetting this thing with a uh, lion, so the chalk's making up the lion's head. Uh, on the sleeve here it has the Le LeBron logo. Uh, this sleeve's just plain and then on the back uh, it's got that Nike swoosh. Uh, this is a dry fit tee this one, uh, with the other one's just a regular tee. Uh, also, I've got to give a massive shout out to uh, my boy Simon. I picked up the Olympic 7s for him and also I got a pair of Air More Up Temples. Uh, through my work I got him a discount on that and uh, he picked me up a little thing just to kind of say thanks. So, uh, this is the note he left me right here. It says, uh, picked this up at a retro stall at the weekend. Made me think of the Galaxy Pack for your big bangs. And then he's got the LeBron logo on there. And what it is, it's a key ring of removed before flight. Obviously this is coming off the sort of foam posit idea. This is real cool. I will stick a picture on the end whenever I put this on my big bangs just to see how it looks. Uh, but now, let me pick up here from Foot Locker. It is the Jordan 7 Olympics. Uh, they're back again. For the third time they're retro and the fourth time total they're releasing. I see everything right there. It's the new style Jordan box, which I kind of like. It's okay, it's a little bit different, I suppose. Uh, black with the white jump man there. On the side there, it's a thumbprint from Jordan. On here, performance craft, uh, sorry, premium crafty performance inspired by the greatest ever. Uh, a black jump man there. Uh, I'll let everyone see. Uh, the digits, things like that, the numbers, whatever. Uh, there's a price tag there from Foot Locker. So it's uh, officially the Air Jordan 7 Retro, white metallic gold obsidian true red, otherwise known as the Olympic 7s. Uh, obviously US 13, UK 12. The colours, are the, so the digits are 304-775-135. Uh, these were $119.99 from my local Foot Locker. I picked these up. I'll just let everyone see, just open the box. It has got the little latches that are now accustomed to seeing on the new Jordan box. So that's the paper there. Let everyone see. That's mine and Simon's receipt right there from Foot Locker in Glasgow. So I shout out to them for hooking me up with these. So this is the paper, the new Jordan paper with all the sort of scribbles and things on it. Uh, and that is the sneakers right there. I'll just grab one uh, and then I'll begin to talk about it a little bit. So, uh, the sneakers were originally released in 1992. Uh, it is the first Jordan not to have visible air, which was obviously a big thing. People either love it or hate it. Also, it done away with the icy sole that was on the fives and sixes. Uh, so, I mean, again, something people love or hate just depends. Uh, personally, I, I like it because the sole doesn't go yellow, but then I don't like it because it's not icy, so it's kind of a hard man to please. Uh, anyway, basically this sneaker took its inspiration from the poor Aches, uh where it wanted to give, you know, that kind of lockdown fit around the heel. And that's hence all the nylon and things like that and the mesh all over. And tried to really kind of cut down on the weight as well and give you good breathability, hence all the perforations and things. 
Uh, so that's just a little thing about the sneaker. I uh, originally dropped in the summer, obviously, of 92, which is 20 years ago now, uh, for the Olympic Games. It was the Dream Team that was over in Barcelona. Uh, obviously this was the shoe that Michael Jordan was wearing because this was the shoe that was out for the 91-92 season it would have been. Uh, so this was the shoe that he was wearing at the Olympics. And uh, this is obviously the third third time it's retroed. Only twice as the, the, the way you see it, you know, like this. Uh, the first time it retroed, it was 2002 I think it was, or 2000, 2004 maybe. Uh, and then it came out in 2010 as the Father Love of the Game, which had the little like love heart here. Very pretty much all the similar shoe, just the little love heart there. Uh, then again, it's come out in 2012 for the 20th anniversary of the '92 Dream Team, which I'm very happy because I really love this sneaker. Obviously, I've seen it on celebrities and things like that. We're on the ones from years gone past, and now I have my own pair. Uh, so let's get started. Just a regular Jordan uh, Seven outsole, the red with the sort of navy, white and the red again. Jumpman right there. Uh, going round to the inside of the shoe. Uh, it's that white midsole with the red underneath is the gold. And that blue kind of looks more like Swiss cheese, this little part here. It's pretty cool. Uh, white midsole. You can see the blue coming up there. Red going round the front. And white. It's a real nice leather. It's not uh, real soft, but it's just pretty nice and clean and simple uh, so as you come up it's white up round here with the silver accents uh, going round on it the laces and coming down uh, as I said again lots of perforations this was again taken from the Huaraches to try and increase breathability and things like that so uh, the person's foot was had a lockdown fit but wouldn't be all hot inside uh, pro obviously now this is totally outdated but at the time it would have probably been cutting edge you know uh, so anyway uh, nothing on the inside of the shoe on this little part, but on the outside, uh, it's the blue, it has a gold jump man right there. Going down again, it's got more of the silver hips around here, more perforation as I said. Uh, and the outside, the typical Jordan pattern with the red and the gold sort of triangles and that sort of Swiss cheese midsole there. Uh, red with the gold again. Uh, then coming round to the front as you look at it, it's that nice white leather, with, followed by the blue sort of nylon there. It's just white flat laces. I'm not sure if this has changed since the original release, whether it had you know rope laces or the kind of thicker laces rather than the flat. I'm not really sure. Uh, if someone knows, do comment and let me know. Uh, just going to pull out the laces right here. This is a nice little gold lace tip. Nothing special on there, just the Jumpman, which is real nice with the uh, elements of gold around this sneaker. So let me just pull out the laces and I'll let everyone see the tongue. So that's the tongue right there. Uh, it's that gold Air Jordan, the same as every seven, uh, the navy, and inside it comes as that red insole, and this is when you can really sort of see here the Huarachi uh, influence in the sneaker here, the, uh, with the heel part, you know, this is the part that's going to really grip onto your heel, and they've got the big chunky heel tab here. Moving around, this is obviously my favourite, favourite part, and this is probably why I love the sneaker. It's because it's, you know, it's not that number 23 right there on that tab on the little triangle, it's the number 9. Obviously this was the number that Jordan wore at the 92 Olympics, so uh, this is one of the reasons why I love the sneaker, because you know, most sneakers always have the 23 on here, or 23 somewhere. So I thought it was real nice, it has the number 9, something a little bit different. Uh, as I said, this is a real nice sneaker, this is my second pair of 7s, my first pair is the Bordeaux's. But uh, I really do love these sneakers. I do also have the Olympic 6s because people are probably confused like why is he doing the 7s video before the 6. The 6s, I didn't have much money so I spoke to my mum and dad and they said well if you wait we can get them for your birthday but you have to wait until then you can't do your video. So I have to wait until September to my birthday to get them but just to let everyone know I do have them. Which again you've seen if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I'll let everyone see the other side of the sneaker. Exact same. Uh, these sneakers were no problem for me to cop. I started work at 9.30, just walked up to the store, I was in there like 9.07, got my two pairs, got my pair and uh, also Simon's pair, uh, which I have now shipped down to him along with his Air More Up Tempos and he's thrilled to have them. Uh, so this is the pair right here. That's a very nice uh, sneaker as I said, so that's them right there. 
real nice. Uh, let me just pop them on feet and we'll go on. But something that I kind of forgot to say was uh, the sneaker comes with these little inserts here. They do come with the little parts that go inside, but uh, I just decided to throw them away. I don't really like them and they didn't really do much. It was just more of a pain when I was having to put the sneakers on. But all that. So this is just the regular carved shoe trees. Uh, so now, now I've got this out, I'm going to jump in and put it on feet. Right. Okay everyone, so this is the sneakers on feet right here, this is a view from the side, looking real nice. The front, you can see that nice navy tongue with the uh, gold writing on there. The other side, in the back, which is my favourite part of the sneaker because it has that number 9. I'll also give that bird's eye view to let everyone see what they're like looking down. It's a real nice sneaker, very clean look, very tidy, really nice. It's that time for the shout outs. Everyone knows what they have to do if they want to be added to the shout out list by now. If you don't, I'm going to tell you. All you've got to do is ask kindly in the comments box and it's not a problem to be added to my shout outs list. Uh, so, starting off, Horse Eddie, my boy from the beginning. I uh, support his music, his sneaker videos. He supports me and my sneaker videos. Uh, that's my boy out there in St. Louis, so shout outs to him from over here in Scotland. Uh, next up, Ike Bezel. The reason I do these videos, he was the guy that told me, you know, go, just do it, just try. Uh, I talk to him regularly on Instagram, so uh, shout outs to him. Next up, the sneaker addict, EJ Dells. Uh, his latest video has been the Johnny Kilroy uh, 9s, which is super dope. He's got them real early and they're real, real nice. It's got a convincer for me to go and cop those for sure. Uh, next up, Black Santa 24. This is the closet collector. Uh, he's the manager of Soulfly down there in Miami. Uh, check out his Facebook and his Twitter. He's always posting. He's got sneakers. Uh, this morning I saw he got the Black Cements, Black Cement Threes. My favourite favourite sneakers of all time. He's got them back right up to, from a size eight, I think it is, right up to a twelve. So hit up his website, which is the T H E Closet Collectors with an S dot com. Uh, he always does free shipping he does to people in the US and it's always great prices you know for a sneaker that you probably won't be able to find now for anything near retail. Next up, Finalations, Nike SBs is his thing, I see that he copped the Nike SB Supreme so shout out to him for that. Uh, next up, JJ Jumpman 23 I've seen him posting pictures today uh, of him rocking his Olympic 7s so shout out to him for that, please check out my vid if you can. Uh, next up, a guy that's doing wonders for the sneaker game and helping me out a lot with that the website he does is jstar25 uh, he does that sneakershoebox.com uh, forward slash legit list it's a little thing to do on there it keeps you right as to where you can and can't buy where you should and shouldn't buy sneakers if you want to get authentic ones because be honest no one really wants fake kicks uh, it's not a good look and it's usually a waste of money. Check that out if you're unsure and you're just going to the sneaker game. It is a great help. I used it like a year ago when I was first starting, so uh, do check it out. Next up, Parametric99. Uh, this is a boy from over there in Melbourne, Australia. He's regularly copying kicks from air-night.com, so check out their website. They always have sneakers at a real good price and pretty early. Uh, and he has a great channel, so check out all his videos. Uh, next up, Dubstep Slap 415, my boy out there in San Francisco. Uh, the man works three jobs, cops like three pairs of every sneaker that comes out, uh, the ones he likes, and he's always copping tees and snapbacks to go with them. He's got an impressive sneaker collection, and just as an impressive uh, snapback collection, so do check out his channel. Next up, Sticky213. Uh, He's opening a store down in uh, South Beach in Miami, so shout out to him for that. He's worked with a lot of people um, doing reviews for sneakers and things like that, so check out his channel. Uh, Jumpman Bostic, I talk to him regularly. Uh, his sneaker talk uh, little series has kind of going with the debates and things he talks about, uh, which is always, you know, it's always interesting to hear people's different perspectives and ideas and things like that so check out his channel and he's a real real cool uh, down to earth and nice guy he will talk to you if you talk to him next up laidback365 uh, he's always uh, on helping out the kind of people that are, don't have as much money or maybe young still in school and only get a little bit of money or maybe just don't have that much money he'll sell on his kicks that he's only worn a couple of times which helps out a lot of people obviously uh, who can't afford it and it's a great thing I think so shout out to him for that and I salute him for that right there. Uh, next up, 
nice kits a store over there in Austin, Texas. Uh, I love checking out their little feature they do. It's a celebrity sneaker stalker where they put up pictures of all the celebrities and you vote who wore the best ones that week. You know, it first started off like a year and a half ago, like four or five pages, and now it's like 12 every week, which is uh, crazy. So, shout outs to them. Also, I've got D63 SX5. This is a boy from London. He's always copping LeBrons and Kobe, so shout outs to him on that. I haven't seen a vid from him recently. However, that doesn't mean he hasn't put one out, so I'll need to check that out. Uh, Crazy Black Man 108, he's the lucky, lucky man that got to meet Derek Rose doing his sneaker review at the All Star Weekend. And he's doing reviews quite regularly on a varying things from sneakers to comics and various other things, so check out his channel. Uh, next up is ZIX0712. I've got mad respect for him. Uh, he only cops kicks he likes. He doesn't cop hype beast kicks, he doesn't cop the popular kicks, he just cops what he likes. So I have mad respect for him and I talk to him regularly, he's a real down to earth and cool dude. Uh, so shout outs to him on that. Next up is Nightwing2303, uh, this guy is incredible in um, the work he does, he does performance reviews and pretty much so every sneaker and if he gets enough requests he'll do it on maybe something a little bit different. Uh, a real cool dude as well, I speak to him quite regularly, a uh, big supporter of what he does so shout out to him for that. Uh, Sneakerfiles.com, uh, they always have sneakers kind of a week, two weeks before they come out so it's always good to have a little look at their vids uh, before a sneaker comes out before you can decide whether you want to get them. Uh, next up, Ducal's Terrible. Uh, <clears throat> I checked out his page and it's all UNC, so shout out to him for that. I've got to love that. Uh, also, The Game 59. This is back over in the UK now. Uh, the Game 59 down in London. Shout out to him for that. I talk to him fairly regularly also. Shout to Logan J. Bays. Uh, shout out to him also. Uh, I haven't seen a vid from him in a while, but uh, shout out to him anyway. Uh, Sam Colt, his uh, YouTube username is 3TVID, uh, he's from the Dallas sort of uh, he's copping kicks regularly and he loves his KDs, cops like every KD so shout outs to him. Uh, next up, Finest Gear NYC, uh, my man Eddie over there in New York, uh, shout outs to him, he was the first man to have the Cav 4s before anyone knew that they were what they were, so shout outs to him. Uh, next up, Swag On Haters Out. He showed me out in a couple of his vids, so I'm returning the favour, obviously. Shout out to him. Uh, bring it back to the UK now for a couple. It's uh, Say What You See 666, my boy Kieran from down there in London. Uh, next up is the Simp Jam. This is my man Simon, the person I copped the Olympic 7s for, so shout out to him. And he got me that little gift, so as I said, the pick will be at the end of the vid of how it looks with my big bangs. Uh, next up is Dainishi Johnson, DJ Drama 5. I recently spoke to him quite a lot. Uh, Real cool dude, both supporting each other, which is always nice. Uh, next up is Optimus P517. I like to watch his vid, he's got a big for sale vid right now. We have a lot of LeBrons and things like that, so if anyone's interested in them, check them out. Uh, DJ Hess, whose uh, username is Hess Kicks. Uh, his most recent vid I think I've seen was uh, of the Nike Portland store, which has looked awesome. Uh, so shout outs to him for that. Uh, Dama Erica. Uh, female sneakerhead, so shout to her for that. She's been doing a lot of work with uh, ZIX0712. They were at the sneaker cons in Miami and Orlando uh, this past weekend right there, I think it was. Uh, also, just for kicks 2 on 2 he was also working with Dam Erica and ZIX0712. Uh, hit him up and he followed me within like 5 minutes, so uh, shout to him for that. Mad love from across the pond. Also, T. Blake Raps, uh, same thing with him. Liked his vid, commented as soon as he heard I was from Scotland, overseas, he followed me, I follow him on Facebook now and like, like to listen to his songs and download his, uh, the mixtape stuff he does, so it's uh, great supporting him. Uh, Duke and Jukester 7 x so a young dude, he does videos kind of whenever he can, he struggles to fit them in, but just check him out anyway. Uh, also, Flight School Shoes, uh, it's always interesting to watch their vids, they usually include the outtakes at the end, which is kind of funny. Uh, and that concludes my shout out list for now, that's me at a grand total of 34. So if you did like what you see, please like, comment and subscribe. And the next video might be the gold medal pack, it might be the fire red 4s, it just depends how money um, goes. Uh, until then, this is Nate Doggy Dog 52 signing off, peace.